Others getting plays, 7-2 on next-door neighbor number one, Validus Dale. His first start back off the bench last week. He wasn't asked to do a whole lot in the early going, but he put up a huge back half number and a big overall number 51-4 and four speed in his first start back. He has a license to improve tonight. 4-1 to one on the 8th, Zara Sealster. His form's been better in recent weeks. We'll see if he can keep the ball rolling. It's post time for the 11th race. Here they come. They're off and pacing. George Jettison had a gapped off start from out in post nine. Four of them fire across the racetrack. Dull Roar charging out of there. Glamit is on the gas pedal. The far outside, slight touch drives up to challenge them now. Zar Silster's in the float lane from and forth. In at the rail fifth now as they head over to the quarter pole. There tracks Validus Dale. Charged up Glamit on the lead by three. He cruises by the quarter pole in 27 flat. Slight touch on the outside. Second and driving up now for Philion. In at the rail from in third, their tracks along Dull Roar. And Dull Roar is on the move now. Popped out of the three hole to go on the attack. So he'll come after Glamit. Glamit's on the point at three eighths. Amax sneaks a peek in the rear view mirror. Here comes Double J and Dull Roar rushing up to challenge, engage, and overtake Glamit for the top spot on the way to the midway point. Dull Roar becomes the new leader now. Back into second goes Glamit, sitting third through a 54-4 first half. That is slight touch. Validus Deo gearing up on the outside from fourth. He's up into third now, about to pick up his cover. Zara Silster from in fifth. Sixth out into the flow, drives up Burning Shore. Then it's back seventh towards the inside to find Regal Hope. Tipped out from the backfield comes Panongahela. Further back on the outside, Sunny Beach Day. And trailing at the rail, George Jettison. They come to three quarters, and it's Dull Roar confirmed. Fronted by Validus Dale, pocket sitting Glamet from in third, up off cover. Zar Sealster, though very rough gated there from McNair, was going to lose him in a real tough spot here. Off stride in tight quarters when Zar Sealster. Everybody got around without incident though. A deep stretch lead for Validus Dale. Validus Dale's on top. Slight touch drops inside. Never advancing was burning shore. Validus Dale, slight touch of the cones. Validus Dale and Scott Ziron. Validus Dale to win this one by a length. Second at the inside was slight touch. Tight for show, 151 and 2 for Validus Dale.